Hello fungi and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today I will talk about general structure of lichens. Lichens represent a sophisticated life form created through a symbiotic partnership between a fungus and photosynthetic companion, which can be either algae or cyanobacterium. This relationship allows lichens to survive and succeed in a wide range of environments, from deserts and tundras to forest and rocky terrains. Lichens are known for their resilience and adaptability, making them capable of enduring extreme conditions that would be challenging for the most other life forms. The relationship relationship between fungal and photosynthetic partners in lichens is indeed complex and the fungal component is the dominant contributor to their traits and characteristics. The fungal partner provides the structural framework, protection and other essential attributes that define the lichens as an organism. The fungal partner also greatly influences the physiology and ecology of the lichen. Lichens are classified by the fungal partner, so all lichens belong to the fungal kingdom. Very often you can find that lichens are called lichenized fungi. Lichens consist of two main partners. The fungal component is known as the mycobiont, while the photosynthetic partners, which include algae and cyanobacteria, are collectively referred to as the photobiont. In certain cases, the terms become more specific, with algae being called phycobiont and cyanobacteria termed cyanobiont. This precise terminology highlights the distinct roles these partners play in the symbiotic relationship that characterizes lichens' unique and fascinating nature. About 95% of lichens are bipartite, which means that lichens consist of two components, mycobiont and a single photosynthetic partner. The most common photosynthetic partner is alga, around 85% of lichens, and the rest 10% of bipartite lichens have cyanobacterium and minor parts of lichens are tripartite. Fungus within tripartite lichen makes partnerships with both algae and cyanobacteria at the same time. Lichens have complex structure of the body, which calls talus. First layer by which lichen interacts with environment is cortex, upper and lower. The upper cortex facing the external environment consists of a few layers of densely arranged fungal cells or hyphae. This layer may contain pigments like melanin, which are synthesized in response to elevated UV radiation. This defensive approach shields the lichen from UV-related damages and also may regulate a amount of light that reaches the next algal photosynthetic layer. The algal cells contain chlorophyll and other pigments that capture light and use it to produce sugars and other organic compounds from carbon dioxide and water. These organic compounds are then shared with the fungal partner. Algal cells are tightly enveloped by hyphae from the medulla, next layer below algal cells. Medulla is the widest layer of talus. It has a cottony appearance and it consists of interlaced hyphae. The loosely structured nature of the medulla provides it with numerous air spaces and allows it to hold large amount of water. The lower cortex is similar to upper cortex by structure. This layer oriented toward the surface to which lichen is attached. This layer plays a role in creating attachment structures known as rhizons. In case of lichens that have both photobionts, alga and cyanobacteria, cyanobacterial cells are limited in distribution along the talus of lichen and located in specific structures, cephalodia. Depends on lichen species, cephalodia structures may be located in upper cortex, lower cortex or medulla. This cephalodium formation is relevant to only tripartite lichens. Bipartite lichens that have only cyanobacterial symbiont do not usually form cephalodia. Instead, the cyanobacteria are widely distributed throughout the lichen. One of the unique abilities of cyanobacteria bacteria is their capability to fix atmospheric nitrogen into a form that is usable by lichen. This can be particularly beneficial for lichens as it provides a source of nitrogen in nutrient-poor environments where lichens often grow, such as on rock or bare soil. The fungal partner of the lichen can then access this fixed nitrogen, contributing to the overall nutrient supply of the symbiotic relationship.